Hey YouTube, I want to do a quick video here, make some notes about uh, just screens, pan cover stuff. Uh, not too long ago I went to the uh, Western Regional Convention and it had a blast. Always enjoy those conventions. You guys get a chance, definitely go to one. Learn a lot, meet a lot of great people, get to see a lot of different uh, tools, techniques and everything. But A lot of guys using a lot of different things for pan covers and not many guys are going with stiff screen and I think part of it is because probably not a real big advantage unless you're using a dogless trap but I really really like it um, a note on what I did last year I cut my screens narrower here trying to get the exact number out of a roll so I wasn't wasting anything and uh, it worked out really really well for me I uh, I was getting coyotes stepping on the edge of the thing here not setting my trap off I think I missed about 10 coyotes at least that I could tell and with a Coyote average of twenty-five, thirty dollars a piece, it cost me just between two hundred fifty and three hundred dollars, and I saved at least uh, twelve, fifteen dollars on screen. So, yeah, you guys get a chance. Go ahead and not do that. This is a screen I cut from the previous year. And this, this stuff is all uh, used. You have to forgive me there. It looks a lot nicer before the coyotes chew on it. But you see that sets in there a whole lot better. covers the whole thing better and it just creates a pocket underneath there so even when the coyotes come step there I end up with toe catches now one other thing I did not lose a single coyote this year as opposed to normally I have one or two that do slip pull out just on them toe catches but the flip side of that is I usually catch six eight ten coyotes by the toes every year and uh, the fur buyer pays the same whether you catch them by the toes or not so Unless you're doing ADC work and you're really worried about educating and get, losing one coyote, I would definitely use a big wide screen, catch a few of them by the toes, and end up with another 10, 20 coyotes in your bag each year. And uh, it'll cost you an extra $15 a screen or something, but it's well worth it. I really would recommend going with a large screen. Other thing, just a note on screens, if you've never used a stiff screen like this, when you stick them in, they're flat. Some of my notch out for the thing, others I don't, but a lot of times when I put my trap in the ground, this jaw over here, your loose jaw, I actually have maybe cocked up a little bit like that, and that keeps that screen all straight, and you don't get that little tiny bubble over the pan. I catch them either way, I'm not sure it matters, but some of it's, sometimes my hole's not quite big enough either, so I just leave that jaw up just a hair, and then that screen lays flat in there. I don't know, works great, catch lots of coyotes. I'll tell you one thing, I'm cutting my screens big again next year. Alright.